Clouds and the Earth's Radiant Energy System series is ongoing NASA climatological experiment from Earth orbit. The series are scientific satellite instruments, part of the NASA's Earth Observing System designed to measure both solar-reflected and Earth-emitted radiation from the top of the atmosphere to the Earth's surface. Cloud properties are determined using simultaneous measurements by other EOS instruments such as the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer MODIS. Results from the series and other NASA missions, such as the Earth Radiation Budget Experiment ERBE, could lead to a better understanding of the role of clouds and the energy cycle in global climate change. Scientific goals Series experiment has four main objectives Continuation of the ERBE record of radiative fluxes at the top of the atmosphere for climate change analysis. Doubling the accuracy of estimates of radiative fluxes at TOA and the Earth's surface provide the first long-term global estimates of the radiative fluxes within the Earth's atmosphere. Provide cloud property estimates that are consistent with the radiative fluxes from surface to TOA. Each series instrument is a radiometer which has three channels, a shortwave SW channel to measure reflected sunlight in 0.2 to 5 micrometers region, a channel to measure Earth-emitted thermal radiation in the 8 to 12 micrometers window or wn region and a total channel to measure entire spectrum of outgoing earth's radiation greater than 0.2 micrometers the series instrument was based on the successful earth radiation budget experiment which used three satellites to provide global energy budget measurements from 1984 to 1993 Topic. Ground absolute calibration For a climate data record CDR mission like series, accuracy is of high importance and achieved for pure infrared nighttime measurements by use of a ground laboratory SI traceable blackbody to determine total and WN channel radiometric gains. This however was not the case for series solar channels such as SW and solar portion of the total telescope, which have no direct unbroken chain to SI traceability. This is because series solar responses were measured on ground using lamps whose output energy were estimated by a cryo-cavity reference detector, which used a silver Cassegrain telescope identical to series devices to match the satellite instrument field of view. The reflectivity of this telescope, built and used since the mid 1990s, was never actually measured, estimated only based on witness samples. See slide 9 of Priestley et al. 2014. Such difficulties in ground calibration, combined with suspected on-ground contamination events have resulted in the need to make unexplained ground-to-flight changes in SW detector gains as big as 8%, simply to make the ERB data seem somewhat reasonable to climate science note that Ceres currently claims a 1 sigma SW absolute accuracy of 0.9%. In-flight calibration Series spatial resolution at nadir view equivalent diameter of the footprint is 10 km for Ceres on TRMM, and 20 km for Ceres on Terra and Aqua satellites. Perhaps of greater importance for missions such as Ceres is calibration stability, or the ability to track and partition instrumental changes from Earth data so it tracks true climate change with confidence. Ceres onboard calibration sources intended to achieve this for channels measuring reflected sunlight include solar diffusers and tungsten lamps. However the lamps have very little output in the important ultraviolet wavelength region where degradation is greatest and they have been seen to drift in energy by over 1.4% in ground tests, without a capability to monitor them on orbit Priestley et al. 2001. 
The solar diffusers have also degraded greatly in orbit such that they have been declared unusable by Priestley et al. 2011. A pair of black body cavities that can be controlled at different temperatures are used for the total and WN channels, but these have not been proved stable to better than 0.5% decade. Cold space observations and internal calibration are performed during normal Earth scans. Missions Topic: First launch The first series instrument Proto-Flight Module PFM, was launched aboard the NASA Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission TRMM, in November 1997 from Japan. However, this instrument failed to operate after eight months due to an on-board circuit failure. Series on the AOS and JPSS mission satellites An additional six series instruments were launched on the Earth Observing System and the Joint Polar Satellite System. The Terra satellite, launched in December 1999, carried two Flight Module 1 FM1 and FM2 and the Aqua satellite, launched in May 2002, carried two more FM3 and FM4. A fifth instrument FM5 was launched on the Suomi NPP satellite in October 2011 and a sixth FM6 on NOAA-20 in November 2017. With the failure of the PFM on TRMM and the 2005 loss of the SW channel of FM4 on Aqua, there are five of the series flight modules that are fully operational as of 2017. Topic. Radiation budget instruments The measurements of the series instruments was to be furthered by the Radiation Budget Instrument to be launched on Joint Polar Satellite System 2 in 2021, JPSS-3 in 2026, and JPSS-4 in 2031. The project was cancelled on January 26, 2018. NASA cited technical, cost, and schedule issues and the impact of anticipated RBI cost growth on other programs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operating modes. Series operates in three scanning modes, across the satellite ground track, cross track along the direction of the satellite ground track, along track and in a rotating azimuth plane wrap. In wrap mode, the radiometers scan in elevation as they rotate in azimuth, thus acquiring radiance measurement from a wide range of viewing angles. Until February 2005, on Terra and Aqua satellites one of series instruments scanned in cross-track mode while the other was in wrap or along track mode. The instrument operating in wrap scanning mode took two days of along track data every month. However the multi-angular series data allowed to derive new models which account for anisotropy of the viewed scene, and allow TOA radiative flux retrieval with enhanced precision. Topic. See also Earth's energy budget Radiometry Remote sensing <laughs>